Hello, Jamalov here and welcome back to Civilization 5 and uh, play through with the Zulus and Shaka on Immortal Difficulty. The World Fair, World's Fair is being built, that production will start. Everything is going really well, all I have to decide is what I do. Uh, will, I, uh, will I start a war against someone like I have planned? Or will I have to wait? I probably have to wait because I don't have that many forces yet. And if I can get a techno technological lead, then I can uh, use that to my advantage. I also have some uh, archaeologists working. And uh, one thing I uh, noticed here as I checked things mid-episode mid, uh, is that I don't yet have uh, slots for art until that museum gets built so I will actually actually have to interrupt this uh, this archaeologist from uh, building this site uh, now uh, because the museum gets ready at the beginning of next turn and he this archaeologist will finish the dig site this turn uh, these guys still have four turns to go so that's uh, that's okay so what I will do I will wait make those archaeologists wait so I can make the dig sites and get uh, get the artifact out uh, next turn when I have the museum up. Let's go for the next turn. I'm still on a golden age. I'm making huge amount of huge huge amounts of gold. And Napoleon declared war on Arabia. Okay. I don't know what happened there, there was a sort of a flash there, but maybe that was some religious thing. Great scientist is born. Now that is interesting. I think I will use the scientist to uh, finish a technology. Yeah, next turn, I think. I'm on the turn 241 already, and I don't see myself. Don't see myself uh, needing, needing the improvements from there anymore. My cargo ship has been sending or trading with Samarkand, creating some uh, some followers there for my religion. But the pressure is pressure is very strong already from the other religion. I think I will still uh, still send to a uh, Samarkand. Don't want to uh, don't want to give any science for the Ingas just yet. Um, actually, I think you guys will stay on this side. This side instead of going there. And a musician is here as well. Uh, I need more museums before I build a... Uh, anything with you, so I think uh, I'll make you wait. And 9% were built in one turn. Let's see how much that grows next turn. We will adopt a policy. I'm not in the modern era yet, so I can't choose ide ideology. What I will go for probably is the free thought to give, give, get the science bonus from the universities. I have a lot of gold and I'm making a lot of gold. So uh, getting, the, getting the commerce so that I could buy so I could buy units for less, might be beneficial as well, especially 
when I get some science from markets, banks and stocks, stock exchange as well. But I think the science bonus from the free thought is uh, worth a lot more. So I have 429 science now, I pick this. And I get almost 80 units out of the university's bonus. That's pretty significant. I, st I st think I still trail Napoleon, yeah. I'm behind Napoleon in the, in the science. Right, now the dig site was done. Uh, this is outside my... Actually, is it? Yeah, it's it's outside my city range, so the culture actually won't do anything here. But I will uh, I will get an artifact out of it. And do I need to go here to actually check it? Beads, beads from an ancient era. Um, right, I have a lot of slots for writers, but uh, not much else. Ah, uh, right, wait. What am I thinking? No, you are... You are an artist, so if I make you, then that is, there's no place for this archaeologist to work. And I will wait with the scientist to next turn before the rifle is done. Although, I think it actually carries through, carries through to the next technology, but uh, since it is actually just science points, so I, will, uh, I will still wait with that. Since we are getting the rifleman anyway. Not not sure one hundred percent sure how that works. If I'd use it now, would it just carry through to the next technologies in line? That's, I think I still can just get one technology per turn. No longer ally with Genoa. Right. It is well that war is so terrible, or we should grow too fond of it. And getting riflemen means my imbi units can upgrade. And um, it's probably something I will do. So I will do it right away. 280 gold for the upgrade. They, they keep their bonuses from Ikanda, for example, movement and flanking bonuses and such, but they lose the, they lose the spear attack. Of course. Well, because riflemen don't have spears. Then I think I have some there, yeah. So they are done. Uh, when industrialization is done, I could upgrade my crossbow men to Catalin guns. Um, but of course, I can't do it well while they are here, and I'm not sure the two range Gatlin gun is extremely powerful weapon, but it is not a city taking weapon, while the free range crossbowmen can still be, especially against weakly defended place like this. Not sure about the towns that have uh, 50. Defense. I think I can still tore through them, but the problem is getting uh, getting close enough, and um, I don't know how I am. Okay, yeah, actually the Incas have the biggest army. I am the last at the moment. I will have to seriously consider of getting getting some technolo technological advantage in the militarily before I do anything, at least artillery, but um, possibly something much, much stronger. Some, um, if I could get some uh, 
battleships or something in that caliber to the seas. I could control the seas and uh, bombard from there. That that would definitely do it against the Incas. But uh, on the other hand, I really want to go for the plastics for the research lab, and after that, I could really focus on the on the military. I uh, I think I will. Uh, I think I will do that. Let's get the industrialization done. Industrialization based on machinery, already referred to as a characteristic of our age, is but one aspect of the revolution that is being wrought by technology. Okay, so the points from the great scientists definitely carry through. Okay, so that's how it works. Mm. We found some coal. Well, that's good to know. But there is lumber mill there. I have to work it with mines, right? Yeah. Alright. Um, this work I can probably reach it the fastest. So let's stop the automation and get that worker there. Just one goal. Ah, there's one goal there that Monaco can get. Eventually, but they are puppet city, of course, right now. And there's some coal there, but that's out of reach for me. If I can get that, and as my ally, we can get that. And there's coal in Tyre, which is good, because I will get that as well. But it doesn't really matter, I have seven gold from here already, that's probably plenty for me. Oh, and there's one here as well, that Laventa can get. Oil will be much more interesting, and then after that, aluminum. Um... If I have some inland oil, that would be great. If I only have the sea-based ones, like somewhere in here, here, or up here, then that will be fine as well. But I do, I do hope I'll, I will have some. I will keep my troops away from the borders. I think I was bringing these fellows to heal after fighting the barbarians. The World Fair, 19%, so 10% per turn is coming to that. I want that 350 production to get the free social policy. I will get that the next turn. If I contribute the most, I will get culture increase for 100%. That's pretty good as well. It's, um, it's pretty good and in... Um, you know what? I, I should probably rush for the modern era here. Probably from... Uh, Ref refrigeration, which would also give me submarine, which I could use in war against Ingas, but I could get the oil if it's on the sea. But could I get? I could get the flight faster. I could get the replaceable parts. And the Statue of Liberty would combo combo nicely with the free free social policy. Yeah, but f the flight would be the fastest. Oh, 
or radio. Let's go for radio. But then I would skip the skip the resources. Ah, uh, that's tough. I think I definitely want that. That's one. That's one. And then for the plastics. Yep. And... Do I have something to build? I could, be, could get Big Ben out. Merchant points. Make sense to put the merchant in uh, or the big pen in Venice if anywhere. Um, do I want to do I want to rush big pen with the engineer or will I want to build something else that's coming on the way? Broadway is probably a lot better, or even the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, not go not going to worry about the big pen. I might build that on my own, but not rush with it too much. Alright, let's go for the next turn. Um, actually, now that the turn didn't end, let me see. I have the lead with uh, with the faith demanding city states. That's good. A lot of city states want marble, and there is some in the continent, but they don't want to build another city. Genoa wants Zemalfism. Well, they will get it. They also want trade routes, which probably will give me a chance to get it. Gold gifts. Five and six turn. I could strengthen my position with Ife and Cape Town with a little gold gift. Since I uh, since I am making so much, I can uh, strengthen that this with a simple 500. Same thing here. I'm so strong here that I don't think anyone can can get me away from it. Yeah, and I will uh, I will get. Uh, not necessarily allied, but at least friends. Friends with many of these who uh, who want faith. Simply because I'm generating so much of it. Speaking of faith... If I haven't built... Pagodas yet, I will. So happiness, culture, faith. And then I don't have enough for the next. Um. All right, and the World Fair. Right now for the next turn and. If that goes to 29%, then it's going up about 10% per turn. And I'm, I'm thinking... Wait, it only went up. No, I don't want to declare war against Napoleon. I wonder if I will say how dare you to you, or will I just say nah, I don't care. I guess I will just say I don't care. If you, if you go to war against Napoleon, I don't mind. You have the biggest army and Napoleon is the biggest threat, so that would suit me very, very well, if you do. So, please, go ahead. Shaka the Wise of the Zulus. I haven't really paid attention to that, that name. 
Is that something? Is that something that changes? So I'm now called the wise. I've never looked at that one. Is it always shock at that one? Shock at the wise, or something else? Budapest Caravel. Interesting. You are going for the coal, right? Yes, you are. And I have the rifleman here. I wonder if I should... Should keep an eye on this area so that we won't get any barbarian forces somewhere in here. And there's an antiquity site there. There's actually a lot of them. Well, of course, because we had all those all those wars here, which reminds me, this archaeologist will uh, soon ish get the job done, and then I have these riflemen here. I guess I could move some of them. here for the possible war, because it takes such a long time for me to get across. So I might as well start moving them, but I will have to be very careful as I start moving more, more and more troops. It can be, can, can be considered an act of war, and if... If I get that diplomatic contact that... Uh, it's 30% now. I think I will stop most production at maybe 60 or 70%. By then I think I will be the biggest one. Maybe maybe 70, 70-80%. I will be the biggest contributor if I if I will get that to begin with. The thing is I don't think you will be building one no matter what. Let's build a seaport here. And I don't think you will be doing that either. You can also start building um, factories as soon as I get that gold. I think we need a harbor here. Harbor here and um, actually we need we need Ikonda as well, so I can build them. Uh, that's the last last barracks missing, so I can build the Hermitage. No, 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 not Hermitage, but the... Uh, wait, did I build it already? Never mind, never mind. We don't need... We need an Opera House, actually. I already built a uh, built military. Military Mir. Vehicle. So we need the amphitheater here eventually. Let's build the lighthouse after the windmill. Probably factories everywhere after I get uh, get the coal mine done. Mm. All right, let's go for the next turn. Budapest seeks investors, that's pretty good. Because they already like me. I think I will use... They are allied with no one. No, someone is attacking them. No, no. <laughs> For a moment I thought that's my influence meter with them. Who is fighting them? I 
can't really pledge to protect them. I'm just thinking that's a... Will they actually get destroyed here? So would my so I will I will wait with the gold gift because I have plenty of time for that. If they uh, if they decide to convert it, I will keep my uh, crossbowmen uh, not not next to their borders. And um, I actually I won't move all the riflemen there now that I think of it. These riflemen, you can stay there as alerted ones, and we will give a trade. I think Keno was looking for one. Yeah, and they are no longer my allies, but they soon will be. So giving them a trade route would be a, would be a simple way to do that, and it would also help me get uh, get rid of the remains of the. Remains of the religion from there. So let's put some pressure. Pressure there. Get them as my allies as a result as well. So that will uh, that will be nice. Yeah. So you will stay there. You will heal yourself. <laughs> and there we got the trade trade route with Genoa, so they are now our allies, and we got the great musician. World's Fair at 44%. Alright. We'll still wait with that a bit. If I, if I keep going, I will definitely be the first. I don't necessarily need to be the first, but it would be a nice bonus. But I don't want to waste... Waste turns in getting there. But it's a little... Because I don't know exactly how much the others contribute. Contribute to that. Especially when I when I get the gold gold mine done. Um, oh, it's seven turns. Wow, that's a long time. Oh well, so beats. Let's make you just alert there. You guys, you will be there. You will be there. You will be there. And let's take you here. You will come as well. Others won't. The musician will create a great work. Esteban Salas y Castro, Gloria, Laus et Honor. Laus et Honor. Is that Latin? Is there a word honor in Latin? Or is it actually in English? I have no idea. You will wait there. You will go there and wait there. Go to the next turn. 44% on the World's Fair. Is the following trade of interest to you? Well, actually, yes. We can get open borders. Right. That will help my uh, little tourism. 
slowly spread more into the Americas. Although I think I need a whole lot more tourism to have any hopes of uh, tourism victory. If, uh, if I can't produce big enough army with strong enough units to uh, actually get there. Alright, I have I have 400 again, so a religious town will get Pagoda. And as a result, happiness. happiness. Happiness is in really good condition. You will be alert there by the ghost. 56% on that one. So it's going 12% going ahead every turn. I will wait at least next turn for that. And we cleared a forest there, and we got the archaeology site done, so that will give us a chance to create another Assyrian artifact, actually. As we, uh, we destroyed that uh, civilization once upon the time. Let's see what that was. I think it goes here. Assyrian coin. And we have some, uh, we early, earlier found the, the Zulu beads from south. Surian coin. Ah, oh, that's, that's not much of an artifact. How about, uh, how about a spearhead from the times of that war? Or some, some pieces of that humongous siege tower that they uh, almost took Ulundi with. That would be, that would be quite something. Alright, let's continue. Continue for the next turn. We are getting closer to the 18th century here. I think I could, uh, think I could pull out the diplomatic victory quite easily from here, simply because I have so much, so much gold. Is it a fact, or have I dreamt it, that by means of electricity? The world of matter has become a great nerve, vibrating thousands of miles in a breathless point of time. Okay, this, this is really cool that I found some aluminum. Let's see where they are. And there's a mine there already, so it's being worked. And there's a trading post there, so that will have to change. Because I think aluminum needs to be worked with... Uh, to mine. Alum. Yep. Um. So I could really take advantage of it with a... Really? Does this even mean that? Well, I will build a mine there anyway. Uh, the caravels have been healed. The polar regions block it from there. Interestingly, there's arche archaeology sites in the snow as well. Well, that is that is something something I need to watch out with uh, the open borders. Sixty-nine percent with the world fair. You know what? I think uh, I think we can stop already. Let's build a hydro hydro plant here. Asur can build hydro plant as well. Vienna. Did I already... Was that built already? Where did that coal come from? Hmm. A lot of, lot of tiles next to a river here. Hydro plants will be really good. I think you will continue with them. Continue with the World Fair. Here. A 
as well. We will have a lot of a lot of production bonus from that one, so uh, we can stop that one as well. So we will continue contributing for the world fair there. Let's see. So it's 69 now. It's been going up about 10-12% per turn. So now that I... You know what? Let's actually get one turn. One turn without any contribution from me. And we'll see how far that goes. Let's go for the next turn. So it's 69. La France t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. I've never thought of asking for 7 gold because I've never received that much in uh, this version of the game. But there were many comments saying that I could get that. Excellent. And I was wrong. You were right. I could get 7. Well, that's some gold I could have received if I'd if I'd known about that. I guess it is because I have so good relations with them that I can get seven, but I I've um, I haven't received a uh, seven gold before in this version of the game. Always I thought it was capped capped at six, so I didn't even ask. Live and learn. Always always test how much you can get and not just think it's the same limit it was before. Who knows, maybe I should have asked eight. Yeah, I don't think that would have worked. Okay, so now let's put um, World Fair back on the menu. 72, so only 3%. So I was contributing contributing eight eight to ten percent for this one. And you only contributed three. Which means that in the in the turns that has gone past I have probably contributed sixty percent to this already almost. So if I keep this world fair here I will be by, by far the first one. If I don't... I will keep it there at least once, so we can get ahead and I will see how... how it goes forward with just one town contributing toward that. I think I will get... Uh, I think I will get the first spot no matter what. Pretty sure of it. There's not much room here. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I hope Pachakuti doesn't ask me what am I doing here. Because then I would have to say I'd mean you no harm. And if I then start a war in... I think it's pretty long time, maybe 20 turns or more, I will uh, I will have a diplomatic penalty of starting this war. Right, we will build a mine here, take advantage of the aluminum. Free gold. Right, I get the coal from my allies. Right, they are still building, building the improvement there. All right. La France t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. You would pay one gold for open borders. 
I don't think so, no. Yeah, Budapest will go down. I wonder who's attacking them. Is America taking another puppet state from there? Or someone else? Because as far as diplomacy goes, Napoleon and uh, Napoleon and Arabia are at war. The, the Inca has bad relations with almost everyone, but but Budapest is not allied with anyone. So someone is attacking Budapest as Budapest, not not because they are allied with someone. I of course cannot see. Let's see who or what it is. Okay, open borders with Arabia as well. Yeah, th this is fine as well. Will give me a... Get the tourists. Tourism working a little better there. It was... It was Americas that was attacking Budapest and they now made peace. So... I'm actually happy about that so I can... Uh, I can possibly... Now they now take advantage of the gold gift. As far as gold goes, I uh, I am in a quite a lead. At least at least as far as treasury goes, maybe I'm not spending enough. But the Incas have a lot of gold as well. Actually, the the amount of treasury doesn't really tell anything. The amount of uh, the uh, amount of uh, GNP tells tells a lot more. But uh, I have five hundred and fifty. 533 while the average is half of that so I'm in a big lead and my army is the second biggest at the moment after after the Ingas I'm slowly catching the lead of the French in technology and actually population wise well I probably never will catch France until I attack them if I attack them but uh, I am I'm catching up a little lighting simply because I have uh, so much land here. And uh, the caravan, what will I do with the caravan? They were sending production to Vienna before. I think I will need some. Uh, production in um, 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 Lavu. I don't think there was anyone else. Oh, actually Cape Town is looking for trade routes. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's strengthen our alliance with them. And go e go easy with uh, easy with the production for a while. I think there is still some uh, Still some world wonders undiscovered by me, so I will I will wait with that. The world fair now 85% uh, I will let Vienna build build it one more time and then I will end that on my behalf. I will I will probably have the lead by by a mile there but then on that end when that happens i will uh, start getting the bonus for the social sooner so that's fine as well and the golden age ends and uh, as I was actually planning of ending the video at the end of the previous turn, so I will do it here and continue 
from the turn 251 on the next video. I thank you for watching this one and I'll see you in uh, just a moment in the next video. Just uh, check out the playlist playlist for uh, for the next video. It should be up uh, almost right after this. So yeah, until next time. Take care. Bye bye.